That was quite the light show you put on back there. Rather impressive and selfless, if you ask me. However, though it served its purpose, and you were able to protect your friends, for your safety, it was a rather foolish move on your part. You don't know what I'm referring to. Allow me to explain then. You pulled a rather illuminating stunt, one that alerted me to what you are. Oh, so you do recognize me. I didn't think you would. After all, you and I had very few interactions before we graduated. I thought my face would have been erased from your memory by now. I thought I would have faded with time. It seems I was mistaken. Yes, I did join the military police. However, I am not exactly an ally to humanity. At least, humanity within the walls. You might say that I'm your enemy. I'm certainly your enemy. Today, I showed you all what I was capable of. And you responded in kind. While you and the Survey Corps were on your expedition, I took the form of the female Titan. I was looking for Aaron. I didn't expect to find another shifter in the Survey Corps. Oh yes, I'm talking about you. Based on the fogginess of your memory, I assume this was your first transformation, yes? That much was obvious. You see, much like Aaron, you were able to remember what you were right before transforming. Afterwards, however, all was erased from your memory. You transformed because I was going after Aaron. I planned to abduct him because he possesses a power my side of this war needs. No. Your interference prevented me from abducting him as I was meant to. Fortunately, however, I was able to get my hands on you. I recognize your power. It's one we used to possess. It was stolen from us, along with the life of our close friend. You were not born within these walls, were you? <laughs> that little reaction of yours, the flash of fear in your eyes, it tells me everything I need to know. You don't belong here. How can I be so sure? There's only one way for a human turned into a pure titan to make it beyond the walls. And that is for the human to have been born 
beyond the walls, beyond the sea itself. Am I describing you accurately? I know that you're not from around here. Do you know how? As I said, your power was stolen from our side. Do you know how it was stolen? Or have you yet to figure out how these powers are transferred? Oh, don't worry. I'll gladly explain it to you. You were a mindless, pure titan. And you ate my friend, a fellow shifter. He possessed the power of the jaw titan. His name was Marcel. We were camping beyond the walls and suddenly a titan, you, appeared. You would have eaten Reiner, however, Marcel pushed him out of the way. He was eaten instead. Don't bother apologizing. It isn't your fault. When a titan is in that state, a state of mindlessness, no one can stop it from eating a human. However, if that titan consumes a titan shifter, it reverts to its prior human form. I take it, shortly after you ate him, you turned back into a human. No. We didn't stick around to watch. We didn't know what we would be dealing with. For all we knew, you could have been a serial killer. You could have been twice our size. And though we possessed the power to transform into other titans, without knowing what kind of person you were, it wasn't safe for us to stick around. Not to mention, we were short on time. We had to hurry along. So we left you. We left our camp, and we made our way to the walls. Oh, my bad. I should have warned you before spoiling it. Yes, Reiner is a fellow shifter. He possesses the power of the armored titan. And Bertolt possesses the power of the Colossus. <laughs> Indeed. All this time, we've been working for the enemy. Your enemy. Such a shame, isn't it? But I think we did our job rather well, wouldn't you agree? Until I told you, you had no idea. We're very good at acting, don't you think? Oh, no. Don't get sick. You don't want to have to deal with that, do you? Oh, I know. This must be... A terrible shock for you. But imagine how I felt when I learned that you were the person who ate my friend alive right in front of my eyes. At least now you can sympathize with me a bit. Hmm? 
Why don't I kill you now? What makes you think we want to kill you at all? You possess a power that we need. However, though we would normally kill you by feeding you to someone else, you also possess the skills and knowledge that we require. You know how humanity within the walls operates. You know how the Survey Corps functions. Your knowledge could help us greatly. So I'm keeping you alive long enough to make you an offer. Join our side. Help us destroy humanity within the walls. And we won't kill you. Refuse to do so. And, well... I've overpowered you once before. We used to train together, didn't we? A few times, at least. I was always so much stronger than you. I could easily overpower you, even if you transform. I could rip open your nape and eat you alive, thus acquiring your power. The choice is yours. You can either stay alive and turn against the people you once called friends, or you can lay down your life for the people we're going to kill anyway. It's up to you. Which choice do you think is worth it? <laughs>